Hello everybody, this is Denim Darlin and today I want to show you three different stages of the women's Red Wing Silversmith. This boot is two years old, this one has been worn for about six months, and this one has been worn for about two weeks. I am going to try my best to be as detailed as possible and I really hope you enjoy watching this. The women's Red Wing Silversmith was made in three different leathers. The copper rough and tough, the pewter acampo, and the black boundary leather. The copper rough and tough silversmith is style number 3362. The pewter acampo silversmith is style number 3360. And the black boundary silversmith is style number 3361. The silversmith boot retails for $319.99. It is 8 inches tall. It has nickel speed hooks and eyelets. It has a pool tab. The pool tab helps you slip the boots on. The silversmith is made with a 3 and a quarter Goodyear welt. This means that the stitching on the welt goes 3 quarters of the way around. This boot comes with a 430 Vibra mini lug sole. The silversmith boot has tassel and laces. The insole of the boot is the typical Red Wing women's insole. It is a leather cover over a soft, bouncy material, and the lining in the toe box is canvas. So the black boundary boot has been worn for about two weeks. The pewter acampo boot, it's been worn for about six months total. The copper rough and tough silversmith is two years old. The tongue of the boots is starting to get some uh, markings from the shoelaces, starting to form creases. This one too. There are some of the finer details. It looks a little... Um, it's starting to shine a little there. And this one is a lot more wrinkled and a lot more creased. The Peter Acampo, six months. That's two years versus two weeks. It's still forming to the side of my leg there. This one is um, a lot more wrinkled. And with the pewter acampo, it's really difficult to see detail. This one is starting to crease. I like that, um, I like having my tabs up. I don't like when they sag down. It, I don't know why, but it really irritates me. So I've made an effort to keep the tabs up on all of them. Here are the heels. They look practically new on all three boots, but the heels on the Vibram soles are tough. And I have so many boots in my rotation that they don't shave down as quickly. Here are the fronts. And that one still hasn't bent up. Notice how the other two start bending up in that area. These have some water stains that I'm sure will come off with the eraser. In a cleaning video I have on suede boots, you can see how the eraser and water help those watermarks come off of the boots. This is how the soles look. So, so there is the two-year-old boot, six months, two weeks. Notice how the stitching on the older boot is starting to wear down on both the outside and the inside. This one is the outside, but not really the inside. This one is neither. Some detailed footage of the inside of the boot.
there's an imprint on the inside of my my copper rough end tuff and uh, you can actually see the canvas a lot better from the inside. There are the toes on the inside of the Peter Acampo. This is the inside of the black boundary leather. You can tell that my foot is starting to make an indentation on the insole. And again, there's a detail on the canvas. Oh my goodness, there are so many fireworks going on in my neighborhood right now. It is Sunday, the day before the 4th of July, 2022, and they go wild in my neighborhood. So if you hear that in the background, I apologize. There was so much to go over and I tried my very best to show you every detail. But if I miss something, please let me know in the comments. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Once again, this is Denim Darlin, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I have many videos lined up to show you. Thank you all. Take care. Happy 4th.